Good and happy Sunday morning. Uh, it's been a while I've done this. I'm truly sorry. Life is busy. I'm on and off. I'm trying to finish my games and I'm trying to play everything and I'm overtired. And I got a job and I have a life. I wish I'd be doing this every day. And I wish I could finish and play every game I got. But I still love you guys and I had to stop by and talk about something I'm currently hooked on, drugged on. Uh, I don't know if people are hating on that game. I haven't checked. I just woke up. I said my fans deserve a review or what I think. What I think of a review. What I do as a review. The best I can. They're, they're just talking about a game. Those are my reviews. Don't practice. Don't write them down. I just say what I feel and I just do it. That's my channel. I love you guys. I missed, I missed doing this. But I'll try to be as thorough as possible and precise so we all know this franchise i've been playing since day one these these were my favorite games back in the days when they came out i've been playing for a while i love there's some pokemon games i do own every single one of them there's ones you love more than anything i'm gonna play them all and I finish them all x and y Back in the days were good, but they weren't my favorites. Nowadays, we got Sword and Shield, but I, you can you can compare both, right? It's pretty much the same game as always. The ratio of capture is different in both of them. I've been playing Sword. Um, I don't know where to go on this. I don't know if people are hating on the game and everything, but I'm just going to say it right now, right there. It is, I do proclaim my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I'm not a Pokemon Go fan. A lot of people got back in the game. Newer generation kids got into the game with that. I haven't figured out how to merge Pokemon Go with Sword. I'm just going as uh, building a whole new roster. Newer Pokemons are really fun. Very powerful. New moves and everything. Um, to me, it's a dream come true. You start off the game right off the bat. And I'm doing this review, I'm 10 hours in. Note to self, I'm 10 hours in doing this review. Haven't even defeated Gym 2. I love the fact for the first time that you can XP your Pokemon super fast. I did try the good old like Eevee and Pikachu put my Pokemons inside the balls and walk around with them. But they don't give out as much as they used to. And they don't call out as much as Pokemon Eevee and Pikachu. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Of those games, those are remasters of classics. Really love those games. But the thing about Sword, it adds that old school element, like old school story. Not too much talking, not too much boring. Walking along the route, the routes, whatever you want to say it. And you have, you remember, uh, Grasshopper. Uh, Bob wants to fight you. And you're just walking around and you're fighting against, you know, good old. Random characters as you walk towards the gym to fight the gym leader, whatever you're going. Uh, those gym challenges are kind of weird, but fun. Whenever you go fighting a gym, you have those gym challenges before. I did the bug one. I'm off doing the water, but I guess they all have it. You have like missions, not missions, but challenges. And while you're doing the challenges in the gym, you fight those random gym guys. To get to the gym leader. Am I saying that wrong? Or right? But anyways, you get the point. Um, again, XP in is really easy. Because right off the bat, I fell in love. I hope there's more areas like that. And I'm doing the review 10 hours in. But I'm always walking back and forth in the same cities, the same town, the same everything. And I'm like, this is my dream come true. You, first area you walk in, you have this... Open feel, like open world. It's huge and you can walk around and just captures and it feels, it has that Xenoblade Chronicles feels to the field or something. It, it feels like, I don't know. And it feels like Final Fantasy 15. You're walking around. You know how you walk around in the Pokemon games and the fields and you see them appear and you play at night, you see different ones. You play at daytime, you see different ones. And they, they, some of them, they spot you and they run after you. And some of them are invisible. It's always uh, very rewarding to go fight off an invisible uh, 
grass moving thing. You know what I mean? If you're playing the game. But you have, like, in Final Fantasy XV, you know how you're walking around with the guys and you have, like, those Pokemon, well, I mean, monsters, and you're, like, he's level 25 or 50 or something. You have those randomized Pokemons that appear, and somehow I can't capture them. Their guard won't go down, or maybe I don't have enough gym badges to capture higher level Pokemon. But you can fight them off, and they're super hard, and I, I do enjoy that. The fact that you kind of have that open world feeling, and I hope, and I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, open world map has bigger range and you have other ones well yeah i didn't try transferring other pokemon to games i think you can but rest assured uh just playing the game and capturing whatever you fall on uh my roster right now is really basic and i always play with fire fire is my main thing so i took the fire element the bunny what's his name now it's called Raboot. But anyways, the Fire Bunny. Can't remember all these names. The newer Pokemons are really cool also. But yeah, that open world Final Fantasy crossover thing. I just like it. You're walking around in that open world. After that, you have the routes. Like, you know, it feels new, but old. The story feels kind of old school. Not too much. I hate it when it's too much talking. To... It's just good. It's just good. Basic Pokemon game. Nothing too extravagant. Um... After that, in those giant open world maps, you have some of those raid battles where you can fight online with other people. That's the part where the XP is easy, I think. It's a nice add. I like it. Really nice feature. Um, those battles gives you uh, XP candy easy, and you do those over and over with every Pokemon you have, and you give them the candy and you XP them, and now they're up to level 30 and 32, and the candies are not working. That's why I'm hoping for another area I give out stronger candy. Every time you do those raid battles, which I really like, you can ask for some friends to join, but you can just fight with people online, and you're fighting this Dynamax giant, the new Dynamax thing. I don't really see the purpose yet. <laughs> Pokemons are still weak, like, if you're fighting, I don't know, a flying Pokemon, he's Dynamax. They, they, they make Pokemons bigger, and the moves do more damage. But if you're just, I didn't use it once, yet. Yeah. And you're just, I used Pikachu, captured myself Pikachu, did uh, uh, Spark on him, and I killed the Dynamax, whatever, flying type, I don't remember who it was, but Dynamax, does it really change anything? So far, I haven't seen it. Anyways, you're doing those raids. And you're fighting with people online. Four players against one giant Pokemon. Eventually, I imagine there's tougher ones. But for now, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. I don't get the point of the Dynamax. And the gym leader, the first gym leader I fought, I was like, man, that was easy. Usually, they, they fork out six, seven Pokemons. I mean, six. That's the limit. And that gym leader did one Pokemon, did a Dynamax one. And I killed it instantly. Like, he was basically only grass so grass is easy to kill with fire why would you get a grass pokemon starter never got it they're so weak grass can't kill much right but anyways that was my quick review i talked for nine minutes gotta say must own must buy don't believe the hate if there is this is by far my favorite pokemon game of all time and i'm not that experience of the new stuff i know i could have baby eggs and stuff i i gotta get more into it i gotta get more newer generation i'm old school it was basic it was capture kill destroy and that was it now we can have babies eggs stuff and boost up and i know a lot of people cheat this game like it's insane to see all the pokemon go players cheat this game and I, I don't like to cheat. It makes the game too easy. Like, I remember back in the days, one guy messed it up for me. Can't remember what Pokemon game is was. Gave me a super high, powerful Pokemon on a trade against a Diglett. And it just made the game really boring because I could kill anybody instantly. You like to grow XP and really start with your own Rouster and try the newer Pokemons. They're really, really and plus there's a bunch of older ones too i don't know what people are complaining about 10 minute review i declare this my most favorite pokemon game 
of all time. There's just too much of it. The graphics are beautiful. Uh, the sounds, the image, the everything. It's my favorite. I didn't like X and Y as much, but this, I don't know. I thought it'd be the same as X and Y. I had the same feel for it. I don't remember Aloha Island. I didn't like it that much. But this one, masterpiece. I can't wait. They say there's 40 hours of main story, but I've been messing around for 10 hours just exploring and catching Pokemons. I just love it. And it's the good old capture. I don't need to use my Pokeballs anymore. I didn't try it. I did try to walk around like I used to, but they don't give out as much. The feature for the, uh, you know, remember those Nintendo Joy-Cons Pokemon Balls? Oh, I tried. I'll try again this week. Put a couple of my higher ranking Pokemons and walk around with them. But guys, if you're a Pokemon fan, like from back in the days, you don't want to miss out. Buy this for Christmas. It's that kind of game. It's a Switch buying game. It's a taking all my time type of game. I don't want to play anything else. I don't want to touch anything else for the next couple of years. This satisfy my gaming needs as an open world RPG also. I hate when it happens, but I'm happy at the same time because we do buy random games. I do buy a lot, but again, this brings me back to just go buy what you really want to play. This is one of them. If you love Pokemon, so don't miss out. Don't listen to the, if there is negative for it. By far, my favorite of all time, period. I want to finish this one, maybe transfer some guys I have there and start this one. That's how crazy. And I haven't done that in a long time. Really want to finish both, like, thoroughly. It's really good. It's taking all my time. But I love you guys, and I'm glad I stopped by on this Sunday morning. Hope you're having a good one. Don't forget to comment down below if you got to the end of the video. Let me know what you're gaming this weekend. But this one is just... Love my Switch. I've been playing on my Switch nonstop, but this one, can't put it down. For the first time ever since my Switch life, I just took a break. It took time for me, and I undocked it for the first time, and I left, and I played Sword in bed, and I fell asleep. And I XP'd my Pokemon going back in the first field and doing those raid battles. It's just something about it. Something about that Pokemon game is just, wow. And you can do versus battles too. Anywhere you want, any corner if you want. I don't want it too much because I'm afraid to go get a fight against a Pokemon Go hacker who transferred a bunch of stuff. He just spoofed on an account. You know what I mean? But I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Send me some love. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, it's going to be a quiet week. So I'll be playing Pokemons. Forgive me. Trying to catch up on some reviews, but that game is taking all my time. And yeah, don't have to buy anything for two weeks. That feels good for the soul. I'm happy. There's nothing good enough to buy. So it's going to be quiet for two weeks. Not buying any more games. Love you guys.